This is Mahesh Ravi and in this video we will be looking at creating a 3D pie chart using Cinema 4D to create this animation. Now we are inside Cinema 4D and what we are going to do is to create a cylinder. So let's hold on this axis scale and then scale it down like this. Let's zoom it and place it right above the ground. So what we need to do is we need to increase the segments here. So let's go to display and click on Gorad shading with lines and we can see that the height segments and rotation segments here. Let's change the rotation segments to 60 and the height segments to 4. So this is what we want right now. What we're going to do now is we want this edges to be a bit smooth, not too sharp like this. So let's go to caps and turn on the fillet. It's going to make the cylinder like a disc, like a rounded disc, but we don't want the radius to be this high. So we can always come back to the radius and reduce it to maybe four or maybe even three work. Yeah, so three is working pretty good for me, right? So we're going to do that, right? And now this the next option that we need to do is to go to slice and here's where we actually create the segments that we require to make our pie chart right so if we go to slice we can turn on the slice option so we can immediately see that right now the slicing is happening here 0 to 180 degrees right so if we actually make this drag this down to zero it's going to go like this right so this is how the cylinder is formed so let's keep it uh, at 180 so 0 to 180 is our first segment right we need our second segment to be created so what we need to do is click control on your keyboard and drag the cylinder in the view so it creates a duplicate of the cylinder and this is our second uh, chart display so we will actually rename it first and second so we need the uh, slice area to be different than our second uh, slice because right now it's both in the same um, angle so we're going to change the second slide from 180 so it starts from 180 where this ends and it goes to let's say 270 so this is our second slice right we have two slices right now and we want our third slice to be created so let's repeat the step of copying the slices just hold control on your keyboard and drag it down so we can name it third so first second and third we have the third slice so let's go to the third slice change this to 270 to 360. now we have our um, cylinder complete with three different slices right we have three different pieces so to make sure that we, it's visible we will create a material so before that let's turn off the um, lines so we can see our um, cylinder let's go create a material a simple material let's change the color of it to maybe blue i'm going to drag it to the first cylinder so we have our first um, slice colored let's duplicate the color right we can just click on this drag and drag it one more time so we have three copies of it just select the second color and change it to maybe green drag and drop it to our next slice and let's change the color of this one also okay maybe red perhaps change it like that so we have um, the three colors in our three slices right our first part is done now um, just quickly before we continue the rest let's create a setup let's create a lighting setup so the first thing that we need to do is that right now there is no ground uh, so let's click on this button which creates a floor instantly and we will use a sky to illuminate our scene right so we have a sky and a floor right now and what we're going to do is for the sky we'll create an hdri map and put it on the sky to eliminate the whole scene right now so let's go to google and let's try and find some hdri maps so we're going to go here hdri haven and uh, we can look at some hdri maps so hdri maps are basically high dynamic range images which can be used to light up our 3d scenes and so these are photographs with high dynamic range high exposure values in there 
So let's take maybe an indoor scene. So let's take a look at indoor. There are categories here. And maybe let's take a look at this studio lighting, right? So we can, there are different options of downloading here. We will download the 1K version of it. So it's going to download um, as a radiance file. So it's going to come down here. So we can just drag and drop our HDR file into our material uh, panel. So it creates a map right here, right? Now, what we need to do is we can just drag the material and drop it to our sky. So our sky right now has the HDRI data, but to illuminate the scene with the sky, we need to set our global illumination. So let's go to our render settings, click on effect and load global illumination. So right now that's done. So let's take a quick review and uh, render and see how it looks. So click on this button. And we can see that it's looking pretty good right now. The render is looking pretty good. So let's keep that. Okay. What we are going to do is um, now that our setup is complete, let's take our sky and our flow layer. Let's create a camera also. So click on this button and it, it creates a camera. You click on this and it automatically switches you into the camera view. So we are actually seeing through the camera. So let's shift select all these layers, including camera, sky and floor and click on Alt G on your keyboard to group all of that. Let's rename it to setup. So that's basically our lighting setup, right? So lighting and camera setup. So we are not accidentally touching or moving anything. Let's group that and keep it there. And now we have our first, second and third uh, slices. And now it's time to animate them, right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is try to reduce this first. So let's go to the third one. And we're gonna say that the two values set it back to 270, right? So it's 270. The second value, we are going to change it to 180, right? And the first value, we are going to change it to 0. So we have it like this. Right now, there is no, no data here, no animations. So what we're going to do is we will click on the auto game and we will try and move um, the timeline to 10 seconds, 10 frames. So we are moving our timeline to 10 frames here. And on the first slide, we will change this to 180 degrees so right now we have that animation if you play back it's going to play the animation right here now another thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the second slider and we are going to create an animation for the second slider from this uh, to maybe 20 we're going to say that this is going to be 270 Right? So we're going to have this animation. This reaches here and it starts this animation and it's going to come here. Right? We're going to go to the third one and it starts from this point right? and it is going to go till maybe frame 30 and it's going to go and take a 360 degree rotation. So we have our animation. Okay. Right now we have another problem. We can see these strips before the animation is even beginning and that is sort of a distraction this should only be visible when uh, the shape actually reaches the corner here right so from zero to frame 10 the second and the third needs to be invisible so we need to actually bring that parameters here so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the second strip we're going to go to cinema 40 tag and we are actually choosing uh, the tag called display right so it selected a display tag and we're going to come here to the display tag and click on visibility it turns on the visibility options here so now we are going to say that the visibility is zero for the object right so in the beginning the visibility is basically zero so but when it reaches here the visibility is going to be 100 so let's do this let's repeat that step here also so let's go to the third one and we're going to say that this until this point it's going to be um, invisible so right click cinema 40 tag display and select on the display use the visibility tag and we're going to say that it's zero at this stage but it reaches here and the visibility is right now 100. So 
yeah right now everything is set and good to go let's do that so we have a working chart right now right let's render uh, take a quick render and see how it is looking at every stage of the animation so yeah it is looking pretty cool right so this is yeah this is looking really cool so we're going to render it out right now okay so this is this animation actually happens till uh, frame number 30 so we can actually render till 30th frame here so what we're going to do is go to render settings and click on output and in here we're going to say that 0 to 30 frame is what we want for it to render and we can change our render uh, setting to 1920 and uh, 1380 so we are rendering it in full hd 0 to 30 frames right and let's go to save and go to file and choose what format that you want to save it in and uh, i'm going to choose mp4 for this and let's close it and click on the in picture render view and it's going to start to render your files so that's it i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial you can create amazing 3d um, infographics with this technique Try and use it in your next project. I'll be back with a new video soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.